Morning. It's a lovely autumnal November day. There are leaves on the ground. I'm at Rice Lip Lido. It's literally over there. There's a beach and the huge expanse of water that is Rice Lip Lido. And next to Rice Lip Lido itself is where I've come to today for a look behind the scenes, the Rice Lip Lido Railway. Uh, to help me do this, I am of course here at the invite of everyone to say hello to Matt. Hello YouTube. You volunteer here, don't you? I at, volunteer here, at, yeah. Like weekends and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're in charge. Yeah. Today. Today. <laughs> it's just you and me. Yeah. And basically Matt went, I've got the keys. You literally have the keys. I've got the keys. We're just going to have fun on the Rice Lip Lido Railway. Let's just play trains. Um, inside the P-Way shed, we've got the classic Robert Loco here, diesel from 1973. But actually, what uh, Matt is uh, excited to tell me, you've got your own 12-inch tamping machine? We've got our very own uh, fully functioning tamper. And this is it. What's special about this is we believe it is quite possibly the world's smallest gauge fully operational uh, tamper. Uh, complete with laser leveling it's got uh, it's got the bits that pick up that clamp onto the rails and then uh, pack the ballast under the uh, under the sleepers and just tell me a bit about robert so this has got a 1.8 uh, oh. ford diesel engine it used to be petrol when it was first built in 1973 it used to be petrol but then in the uh what has that come out of a car let's come out of a car like a ford escort or something yep <laughs> Yep, okay. but it was converted, it converted from petrol to diesel in the early 90s. Does that also account for the wing mirrors? <laughs> These are off a Mini Cooper. <laughs> you should get like an XR3i sticker and put it on the back. It's a turbo on the back as well. Yeah, it's Robert Turbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it can go more than 8 miles an hour. You can, you can do your full 20. This one would struggle oh. to get over 10. Oh, oh. Mm. but this is this the, oh, this is the this oldest? This is our oldest one. But this secretly, this is everyone's favourite loco, isn't it? This is, I, this, I think, this, I this think is, it is. This yeah, is a special definitely, one. It's definitely got a fan club. Matt, why, why is this pit here? This is called the washout pit, and we use this for okay. washing out the boiler on our steam engine Mad Bess. So oh, no, steam engine what? Mad Bess, that's oh, her name. Mad Bess, That's okay. her name, yeah, right, yeah, I wasn't okay. being rude. No, this is, uh, <laughs> so the boiler needs to be washed out periodically, uh, and it involves putting a uh, jet wash in, uh, yeah, exactly. So there's a drain in the corner. Yep. Oh, and so the hose. There's the hose, and there's a drain. Yeah, so we connect a jet washer so to it. So you park it up here. Yep, there's washout plugs and you basically blast out the rubbish from inside the boiler nice. to get it all out, ready for the nice. next service. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we keep four of the locos and where all the maintenance for the, uh, the rolling stock is done. You see in the back here, it's all our machinery. This looks like a, something that wouldn't be a mess out of a London dungeon, torture, but what, what is it actually? <laughs> so this is our press. So it can, uh, it can actually produce about, look onto this, 60 tonnes of pressure. This is how we, we uh, press the wheels onto the axles on the uh, for the wheel sets so that moves there goes down there and then you can apply the the force the force there the force and you've got the gauge there it shows you how much pressure has been matt street and you are my father i have the force, the force. <laughs> i feel like i should do it with a, with a, i have the force the spirit level oh, no no, no it's a spirit saber come on <laughs> It's just the point. I've, it's, uh, I admit, I've never watched a single Star Wars episode. No, you've never, never seen film. Star Wars. Never seen a single Don't Star Wars. Don't ever admit film. to the internet that you've never seen sorry, Star Wars. Sorry. You'll get comments now. Can I go under? Yeah. All right. What is that? This. Yeah. This allows you to lay, lay down, and actually you can get. A so I, can, look. I can lie on this. You lay on that. Yeah. Put your head on there. Put me, lay down what? There. On my back? Yeah. On your back. Head there. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. This is what the guys used to then get up under the you carriages can... and the locos. So there you go. Comfy? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't have a nap. <laughs> Just have a rest. I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily fall asleep. I'll get you a pillow. A pillow? Yeah. Just to... Or a duvet. A Would you want both? <laughs> we found two diesel trains. Uh, Graham Alexander here and John Rennie here. You're saying that this one, this one's got an old A-stop whistle? That's is right. That right. But I like the look of this one. I that, like... That's my favourite one. This reminds me of, yeah, I don't know why. Like, the livery is very, it's very DLR. That blue, that deep blue with the white and the red. It looks like a DLR train. Original DLR. It does a bit, yeah. Yeah, whereas this one is metropolitan purple. Is that meant to be? I think so, yeah. That is a nod to the Met. Yep. Okay. 
Why is this your favourite? I just look at it. Just, it's, it's just lovely. It Blue's cool. my favourite colour as well. It's, this is a great colour. It's, it's, it's a lovely, okay. it's lovely, let's, let's it's lovely it. to drive as well. Let's do this one. Can you sh- show us the whistle on this? Yeah. But then we'll drive this one. All right. Okay. Let me, let me fire that one up. Just giving it a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a wipe down. Using Windeline or uh, Mr. Muscle. Ultimate quick detailer. Killing the locos. The whistle from an old Metropolitan Line Underground train. Yep, so on the top here, you see we've got the uh, the horns, the uh, the standard air horns, but just at the front here, there's an old A-stock whistle, which has been plumbed into the air system for this. And I'll fire it up for you. I'll pop the key in, it's got a set to whistle. There you go, and the horn. So these points, the loco's in road number two at the moment, but they're set for road one. So if you just throw that, push it, it across, yep, throw it across. Over. That's it all the way across. So the blade then touches up with the stock rail. I'll give it a kick to make sure it's definitely against. <laughs> we don't want any trains coming off the line. And there we are. All right. And now uh, we'll bring it out. <laughs> I want you to stand here next to the coupling and you're going to guide me back on. So if you look down, you can see I've got a wing mirror. I'm going to be looking at you and you're going to tell me what the distance is between the two coupling faces on the locomotive, between the locomotive and the carriage. You up for that? Apparently it's very important I do it like that and not like that. Don't do this. Do this. You ready? Go and stop. That's four feet and you're like that. So we've taken out one carriage in the open on that loco. Uh, Matt's going to park it up uh, at the station. We're going to have a quick cup of tea and uh, then we're going to go for a proper ride around the railway. And it's not just the railway that's at the Lido. There's a restaurant, cafe, children's play area, including a beach, woodlands, and a walking path around that is also home to hundreds of ducks, swans, and geese. It's a lovely place to come and spend the day. Get here on public transport by coming to Ryslip Station on the Tube and then using either bus H13 or 331. So uh, Matt's been driving the train. Um, there are three stops, uh, as in the map, uh, on the Rice Lip uh, Lido Railway. Uh, there's Woody Bay, where we started, and it kind of goes around the Lido to Willow Lawn. But halfway along uh, is a station called Haste Hill, and uh, it's an amusing thing. Matt, you've decided that this is obviously the least used station on the Rice Lip Lido Railway. Let's do it. So I am sending myself up a little by doing a parody. Let's do a quick 20 second welcome to what was it again? Haste Hill. Thank you very much. Haste Hill. <laughs> Matt, what are the passenger stats? So the official <laughs> the official statistics for last year was the grand total of four. Wow. People. Did you count? Yep. That's the official statistics from the but machine. Is, but but it, isn't it, you can only, is it drop off or pick so up? So it's a request stop only, and it's only from Woody Bay because there's only a platform on this track. On the other side, there is there is no platform, so trains from the other side can't stop there. It's a request stop only. Okay, this is fabulous. I mean, basically Matt said, do you want to come and spend the day playing trains? And yeah, I do. I really do. What's better than playing trains? Thanks, Matt. He doesn't know I'm filming this bit. I'm going to edit it in and just be like, Matt, thank you. You're a top man.
Do you like trains, Matt? <laughs> Hello, Willow Lawn. This is Willow Lawn. Back on free Willow Lawn. Matt's going to bring the train in. There's a turntable. We'll turn the train on the turntable and then uh, he's going to let me drive it back. Matt's about to let me uh, drive the train back. Uh, I think he's in the toilet. Whilst he's not here, I'm just gonna sneakily, I've brought my own tape measure. And when it comes to gauge on tracks, I'm interested to know because obviously the rails here are like just over an inch thick. So when you measure, I think he said it was 12 inch. Is that from the inside or the outside? It's probably the inside. I, I just wanna measure the track like this. It, it's the inside. <laughs> if you measure it from outside to outside, it actually becomes 15 inches, but the inside is, is exactly 12 inches. That means the rails must be one and a half inches wide, one and a half either side to add onto the 12 to give you 15. There you go. By the way, Matt, I believe right now, is just filming a little, uh, it's filming a little TikTok. Uh, Matt has a TikTok channel. He's Matt on screen underscore the train guy. He's filming that. Now, if you want to follow him on TikTok, posts fun railway bits and pieces, go follow him there. Can I go drive a train now, please? Right, here you go. Keys. Train. Let's do it. <laughs> Keys, train. <laughs> So Matt's just given me a comprehensive lesson, thanks Matt, on how to drive the train. The most interesting part, down here, there's uh, like a red... The dead man's mushroom. device. It's a dead man's got my foot on that red button. I've got to have my foot pressed on that the whole time. Other than that, it's very easy. Gear, throttle, brake, speedo, and what the maximum speed in most places is eight, eight miles, miles an, hour. an hour. And it drops down generally to five over points. So uh, if I drive and you film me. Okay. Break off. And two hoots of the whistle. Two toots. Yeah. And then just tell me about the stop boards, because I've seen there's an S there, but I've seen five and eight, and what looks like an electricity sign, but what? So it's eight is the max speed, but is it five across points? Five is across it? points, yeah. So the S board is a section board. That's effectively like a, a stop. That's a red signal uh, when we're under two train radio control. So in the cab, you see above here, we've got a radio. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get back. Hang okay. on. So as soon as we get to this eight limit, yep. limit of shunt, then I can open up. So, so once the rear of your train has cleared that. Oh, the rear of the train. That's right, yeah. So, once so I've got to look at my rear view mirror. Yep. And then give it some welly. Yep, you can take it up to eight then. But there's a crossing ahead, got to slow down for five. Correct. And then we'll just train it all the way back, back to, uh, back to Woody Lawn. Woody Lawn? Easy. Woody Bay. Woody Bay, Woody Bay you, Woody you, Bay, you, mix, you mix the two Willow Lawn. <laughs> Willow, Willow Bay and Woody Lawn. We'll do that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're coasting back. How's my driving so far? Very good. Thanks very much. Very um, I want to take just a serious moment. Did you watch the recent video with myself and Tim, with Chris down at the Rumley Hyde in Dimchurch? Yeah, yeah. It was very good. And we spoke about there about the importance of railways and what it means to people. So presumably a lot of the people, is it just teenagers or is it adults? Is it men, women? Is it a mix? Do they come because they love railways or because they just want to volunteer and have fun and be part of something? What, what's so we are, so the railway is operated by uh, what's called the Rice Railway Society. So we are right. a, a group of members, I think we're around about 200 at the moment. 
uh, people from all walks of life, all different ages, from the youngest at 14 to up through to the uh, sort of, sort of late 80s. Oh, is there a minimum age? You have to be 14. 14 to minimum age. 14, yeah. okay, right. Um, yeah, and we have people from all walks of life uh, come and volunteer here, not just necessarily just on the trains, but perhaps in the shop or in the, in the tea room, in the maintenance side of things. Um, and you don't even have to be an enthusiast to, uh, you don't have to like trains to be here. This is just a great way to meet new people, both sort of within the society, make friends, but also meeting the public. Okay, it's a fantastic way to meet you people, meet. make friends, but by the end of it, you probably end up liking trains. But it's, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. it helps. If and, you like trains. I mean, you have a lot of people and volunteers here, and obviously we're in Ryslip, we're in London, but there's what well, there's loads of miniature railways all over the country, so people can volunteer at their local one, right? Yeah, they're all up and down the country, ranging from miniature, even smaller gauge than this, right through to full size mainline size, um, up and down the country. And also, I mean, presumably some people do want to come and sort of try a hand at a railway because like, you work for GTRC, you work for the railway, presumably there's other railway people, you know, that work the big proper trains and there's a lot of shared knowledge or you can gain experience, right? Yeah, so we have people who, you know, work on the main line and, and come and volunteer, but we've also had it the other way around. People who had, who've never even considered a career in the main line railways, they've come to Rye Slip, get really sort of into it because a lot of our operating practices are actually taken from mainline railways um, so they've actually gone on to join um, the, uh, the mainline railways in fact recently very recently uh, a friend of mine he's just become a signaler with network rail and he's been here since he was 14. everyone wants to be here and, and the great thing is is that the passengers everyone rides on the railway because they want to it's not like they have to everybody is happy everyone is just a, it's just a fantastic um, community to be a part of Okay, thank you, Matt. Uh, Rice Step Ladder website on screen, link in the description. Um, I'm going to let you jump out, run ahead, and you can see how well I stopped the train in the platform. Right, yeah. Back at Willow. We'll judge a stopping point. W Willow Lake. Willow Lawn. Willow Haste. Hall, Bay. Whatever, yeah, that but one. You just follow the track, <laughs> you won't get lost. Just keep following it, and you'll, uh, you'll get there. <laughs> How's my train driving? <laughs> I'd give that a, a good 9 out of 10. Would you have me as a volunteer driving a train? Of course I would, yeah. Alright, thanks Matt. Alright. <laughs> this is great! Before we go, yeah. I noticed up there there's a radio. Are you telling me that it's radio controlled, the signalling, or is it token block? We've How's got, it works? We've, so we've got two methods of uh, signalling trains. The first one is with the radio. Uh, you have a controller who sits here at Woody Bay. They plot out all the train movements on this graph, and every driver will have an authority uh, sheet, so they know how far along the line they can go. And the other method is tokens. Ah, oh, tokens. So, you, so do, you do a token swap. Do a token swap halfway along the line. These are the, uh, the two tokens. This is for this half of the railway. That's for the other half. The driver carries them. Uh, and then when they get to the token stop board, they swap over and uh, continue on to the uh, other half of the railway. <laughs> uh, this is the summing up. I don't know what else to say. I've had a brilliant day, uh, ridden trains. It's been good fun, hasn't it? Learned some stuff. I, I guess I should yeah. officially hand the and keys get, back. Get the keys back to the train. Although it comes Saturday, so we can't take it out. Jeff's still got the keys. Okay, remind people again, Rice at Lado website, when are you open? So we're open uh, every weekend. Um, Although in January we do close down, so check our website. The website is rlrs.co.uk. And uh, yeah, come and have a ride on the uh, Britain's longest 12 inch gauge railway. Britain's longest 12 inch gauge railway, I like that. But also, again, you know, support your local miniature railway wherever you are in the country or the world, indeed. Yeah, we're always on the lookout for new members to come and volunteer here at the railway, so check out the website. There's information on there about how to sign up and the different ways you can get involved. Okay, right. Who do you think loves playing with trains more, you or me? I think you've driven more trains than me. So today, potentially. No, but I mean, just generally, who do you think loves trains more? <laughs> we need to. We need to have a train off, don't we? We need to have a contest. Okay. Let's do this again. <laughs> Thank you. See so everyone. Can you tell everyone to press subscribe? Press subscribe and smash that uh, notification button. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Bye. Bye. What the hell's a train off? <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Oh, thanks. That's a funny outtake. <laughs> a train off. <laughs> what is a train off? <laughs>